right. Back for some No Man's Sky. Back to my Diplo hunting series. Well, we've yet to find a Diplo, but we're trying. Now, I've done a little something off stream, but myself to the Boomerai Galaxy. Galaxy 130. It happens to be a lush galaxy. And the first planet we landed on looks quite like a peach planet. Built myself a little base here, just a welcoming area. Right next to the shop. Put myself a little teleporter down. Put my storage containers down that we've opened so far. I think what I'm going to start off with is go explore this planet. It looks kind of beautiful. Charge up everything. This in my high capacity. My high capacity looking actually. A bit of room here. Nothing I need to buy. Not really. I'm a bit low on carbon and stuff. Oxygen. Get some more oxygen. Make some carbon. Find that up. Right, so I think we're going to go out and explore this place, but how did we get some drop pods? Because I still need drop pods. Would it be cool if this starter planet in this galaxy would have diplos on it? And I really hope. I don't think I'll get that lucky, but you never know. One thing I did notice was. A lot of undergrounds. Three rare and oh my goodness, I didn't notice that. Three rare undergrounds, that's gonna be a nightmare. But I've put a base in this planet, so I guess we'll come back here a few times. I might have to put a base in a cave just to make it easy. I reckon this is a cave over here. Eve like structure. Not really. Right, how far away is this thing? Nine hours. Light, it looks kind of nice. Hmm. But I think we'll fly to the drop pod and start exploring for the creatures. Beautiful looking planet. Nice blue sky. These look quite nice. Go pulse over here. So one thing I want to start working on it is to get a new ship because the ship's okay, but it's not really. I want to try and find a white and gold solar vine ship. Maybe ultimately would like to get a white and gold collection with them subtly different. My long term aim. Ooh, is that a sentinel building? No, a crash ship. Let's go get a crash ship, why not? There's a cave here as well. So, I don't know much about this galaxy other than it is a lush galaxy, and if this planet is anything to go by, it might be a nice place to explore. I'm in the centre of the galaxy, which is also nice. Right. But I always forget which one this is. Do I need to calculate this? Two doubled is four. Four tripled. Twelve times four. Forty-eight times five. Is this times six? Is that right? Twenty-four times six. Oh my god! I cannot count. Two forty. Like my brain, my brain is very times four would be about a thousand plus two extra about one thousand five hundred. Maybe this one, isn't it? Well, do I have to calculate this exactly? <laughs> what did I say this time six? That's gonna be six hundred seven hundred and twenty times two. Fourteen hundred and forty. 
Oh, that was way too much. Normally I've got these remembered. I don't, oh, it's a freighter anyway. Ugh, didn't want that. How oh, is this drop pod? Where is the drop pod? Seeing it here, but it's very confusing. Also, this seems like a big cave area. We just got these nanites. Oh, is that the cave creature? Grab this thing. Ooh. Don't think this is the cave creature. Quick look. It is a creature though. Bump. What is this? Unknown building. Way down. Eating the creature, how is that happening? Let's have a quick look in this cave. Kind of a nice cave as well. I've got the cave ground though. Up there, let's have a look at that. Oh, birds. Oh, and there's something there as well. No diplos. Is that just the ground underground? Like three underground creatures. God. It's gonna be tough times. Where is Drop Pod? I was flying towards it. it's so close to here that it somehow disappeared this is really confusing me I think I was like very close to it in the air but I don't see it marked anymore it's like it's right over here or something flying by Seems to have disappeared completely. Unknown building, that's the one I just marked. This is it? Nope. That's a bit strange. Never really happened before. Really close to it. I have to scan for another one. Let's just fly around. Find a building, find some other caves. Oh, what's this? Looks like a trade platform. This, this is the drop pod? This must be the drop pod, it's just got a different icon. It's strange. Anyway, I'll take it. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I got my fuel. You just grab this thing. Chips right in the way. Are you kidding me? I don't even get inside. There we go. Extra cargo sleep. Oh, keep getting those. And let's have a quick look at this cave. Three rare cave creatures. Is this even a cave? That's an albumin pearl. Right up here. 
looks like a cave, doesn't it? Not seeing any creatures there. One of these very steep caves. Hmm. Kind of dark. It's a bit funny that even at night time these caves are dark. Yes. I think actually the lighting wouldn't change much given most of the lights in the marrow. No. Oh. Okay, creatures. I like this lighting here. It's very nice. Let me scan for another drop pod then. Keep going to drop pods and checking out the caves as we go. It's nice to get to this galaxy at least. Wait, there's the cave creature. Ooh, that was a bit lucky. Almost missed him. It's funny how he appeared out of nowhere. The other one here at all? Well, sometimes they just suddenly spawn in. Well, one out of three cave creatures. Two more to go. They're all rare apparently as well as it. Like this is as tough as it gets. But given this is my starter planet in this, this galaxy, I definitely want to do the zoology. Although we could space it out a bit. I want to go do this. Something we need to work on is my ship. I think that's actually a priority is getting a ship that I want to build up. I think we're going to do some pirate system hunting. I'm looking for solo ship that I actually want. The problem is I, I'm very set in what I want. White and gold. It might be difficult to find that. And until I find it I don't really want to spend lots of resources into upgrading these ships that I'm currently using. I also need to be working on a way to make a bit more money, but I guess I'm kind of getting passive money exploring. I could work on some upgrades for my scanner. I don't have the best scanner at the moment. Predominantly it's for fauna scanning. I, I don't really scan the flora very much. I kind of wish the exploration missions would be a bit more reward heavy. I probably would enjoy doing the exploration log missions but you just don't get that much if you complete it so let's do the zoology let's grab this thing too long to go with this right are we gonna find another cave creature at least there seems to be caves next to the drop pods sometimes you don't get the Damn it, it's the same one. No. Oh, rare cave creature, and I got the same rare cre cave creature. I'm trying to see if there's a red dot. I don't like it. Oh, I'm under attack. I wonder how. How much do I have to deal with this? Like. What would happen if I didn't deal with it? So far, every time I just go fight. You just scan for another drop pod. Actually getting hit now. I think whilst I'm in the menu we don't get hurt. Guess I go deal with him if he's still around. I 
gun. The gun. Right, where we go next? Over here. How far away? An hour away. Bit fly, see if there's anything else we spot. Beautiful day. On a serene planet. Beautiful weather. Not that much in the way of buildings, really. Hey Caroline, how are you doing? I've made my way to the Brumerai Galaxy if you'd like to join at some point and just get a save here. That way if I die you can transport me back again. <laughs> hey, what is this? A cave here. Do I quickly let me quickly look? Cave creatures. This is my starter planet in this galaxy, and it's kind of gorgeous, actually. I like it. All these album and pearls. I'll take those, I guess. How are you doing today, Caroline? So many of these things. The only problem with these things is they're really not worth the amount of time it's taking me to pick this up. I'll pick up all of these and it'll be the same as me scanning like one creature. It's not working it, is it? I wish there was maybe even an upgrade that you could get that would buff your resources for that kind of thing. Not seeing any red dots. Now, unfortunately, this starter planet in this galaxy has got three rare cave creatures. And one of them. That, wait, what is this? Floating crystal? That gave me something useful. Oh, look, there's a dot. Go get that. Where are you? Come here, you. He's so far away and I can't see him. Look at him. He's quite big actually. Are you a predator? Nope. Right, two rare creatures. Only one left. I'm actually impressed we found two rare cave creatures so quickly. Probably shouldn't jinx myself though, given that we've still got one more to get. Oh, look at these floating crystals. What did we get last time from it? We got Geodesite or something. He's like, oh look, there's another crab. These ones occasionally could be a greater or lesser mushroom. Be very rare and very unique. Get myself out. Let's stay back in the office. How are you doing there? Is it good to be back? Douglas Pine, morning, how are you doing? Are you in the States? Must be very early there, isn't it? Grab all of these. See if we get something lucky. I think almost you don't like this doesn't feel like worth it. At best I get a Neodesa, which is like 150 units. God. Cloaked. I'm cloaked. I'm gone. I'm invisible. Go away. Oh. They think they can scam me, but they can't. The amount of time it takes to get this stuff you're like, oh god, given you're on sentinel. These aren't even extreme sentinels. What am I doing? Let's get rid of this. Oh look, did we get anything useful? Oh, geodesite. Vitium's not that good. Gold nugget's not that good. Lemium's not that good. 
I mean, I suppose it's not worst in the world, but these in the high capacity so that they stack up a bit. I mean, it's something, isn't it? I find sometimes, just in my mind, I'm just comparing it with more efficient ways of doing things. And then it just becomes like, why pick up these things when and they scanning a creature is like instant and gives you more money. <laughs> I, th I suppose it's everything. Passively, slowly, slowly earning money from the planet. You're in the south coast of England. Ah, fellow Brit. Very good. South coast is in Bournemouth. Dorset. I was born in Poole. I don't know if that's close to where you are. Right, did I scan for another drop pod? Let's go get my ship. Let's go grab another deep slot, I think. Got one last creature on this planet, right? Seven of eight. We're underground. Did I get this thing already? ship fuel is useful. Alright, let's scan for another drop pod. We're slowly, slowly grinding these out. It won't take us too much longer. Have them all done. It's kind of nice to be able to do the drop pods actually because it makes me feel like I'm doing something as I look for all the creatures. I should probably have a quick look again. Last time a cave creature just randomly spawned just as I was about to leave. Funny if it happened again, but no. Same cave creature. Never mind, let's go. Right, how far away are you? Oh, it's right here. How convenient. I like it when it's close. Be a cave in this one though. Hampshire. Is that like Southampton? The town is near there. I've heard of it. Andover? Hampshire? Right, what am I doing? Cargo slots. We're going to finish the cargo slots. They're the expensive ones. So this is my starter system in the Brumerai galaxy. So I guess we're going to want to go to every planet here. And if we stick to the, just exploring this exact region, or if we randomly go as I normally do. It's a bit further away. Portsmouth area, oh. Very good. And way up north is Sheffield. In a town called Chesterfield. I don't know if you've heard of that one. Not a huge town. Maybe it's the size of Portsmouth. I don't know. I don't know how big Portsmouth is. What is this? Is that a settlement? Oh my god, I found a settlement here. I'm going to claim it. I prefer this place. That's kind of lucky. I don't often see random settlements. We did claim a settlement on a double extreme stormy wasteland planet. How cool to find a settlement in my new galaxy on my first planet. 
Wait, what? I need three Geknip to invest here. When does that mean a thing? I don't have any Geknip. No? Right, I'm going to have to put a save beacon here. Wait, what? Cannot build within the settlements. You... So annoying. Why do I want to mark this place? I'm going to have to... How far do I need to be away from it? Let's just go a bit further away. Oh my god, I still can't build. How big is the settlement limit? I'm going to go so far away, I'm not going to be able to see it. What is this? I wonder if I'm in the Gek system. There was Gek there. Go to a trade post perhaps and find some Geknip. What is this? Question. How can I still not be able to build this thing? Right, I can. I was going too far. Oh no, there's the border. That's the border. Wow. Right, mark down. Where actually was it? Over there. Is it possible that one of those guys at the settlement would sell me them? There's no one that sells anything there, is it? Yeah, this is my starter planet in the Boomerai galaxy. This is just where I randomly walked to once I got myself transported here. This is my first system and it's a beautiful planet. Is there a shop in, in settlements? You get one later on, don't you, when you build it. I don't know if it's there to start off with. Let me just speak to some... Am I in a Gek system? I am in a Gek system. I can just go to a trade platform, perhaps. Nice buildings, but I don't think there's a shop. Where's all the people? I want to speak to someone. Kidding. I did see someone, didn't I? Geknip. I didn't realise you needed stuff to speak to the settlement. Is that a new thing? Maybe it's not. I must admit, I never really got brilliantly deep into the settlements. I started to upgrade mine and we did visit it. I just never found it that interesting or fulfilling. It wasn't a loop that particularly... I did build a nice base, a nice garden with one of my settlements. I'm not even seeing any NPCs here. Like, what the hell? Isn't there normally like loads of NPCs? Kind of a nice looking settlement there. Empty. Nobody's here. Right, I've marked it down. I'm going to go try and find a trade platform. See if we can buy some Geknip. I need three of them. Where did I put my ship? Let me just scan for trade post. That's the drop pod. How close is that? Let me just quickly get this whilst we're here. How cool is that to find a random settlement as I fly around this planet? The next thing would be to find a random portal. Love finding random portals. Oh, kicked away. No cave here. Still need to find the last cave creature. Still got all these to open. As we do it when we're at a shop. The cargo slot. Where is this trade platform? Seven hours away. Ian. 
Let's go to this trade platform and get some get clip. It's night time. Fugitive starship threat level significant. Close. I find when they're down here, I can't even catch them up. I don't have like pulse engine upgrades really. And flying in the atmosphere, they seem to be faster than me. Wait, is this a ruin? What is this? This is a nothing. This is a ruin. Might as well just quickly grab a treasure. Why not? I wonder if that guy will come and shoot me whilst I'm down here. Uh, let's grab this key. Legendary treasure, anyone? Also, my base is at an ancient wall, ancient building. This is a bad treasure. We can go swap it for another one. Um, let's just get this key as well. Treasure hunter. I also feel the treasure hunting could be buffed. Like. I suppose they're all just little things that you do passively and make a little bit of... I'm under attack again. Let me quickly get this treasure. Oh my god. It does actually a reasonable amount of damage to be given that I've got the shields. Bury myself. Can I charge up my shields? I can't. Oh, I've lost myself. Am I safe if I'm underground? Meets it's that thing. How have I managed to not find this treasure? There it is. Hiding. Right, what do we got? Something good? Ooh, a legendary. Suspicious Anthology. So we've got a weird name. I'll have a look at it in a minute. Let's get, get in the ship. Those random attacks by pirates, they do quite a bit of damage, to be honest. Why is it not let me get my ship? A bit weird. It also seems to have disappeared. It's gone. What is that? It's a creature. Let's have a quick look. What did we get? 1.6 million. Pretty good. I don't think I've seen anything more than a couple of million. Like two, just over two million. Maybe like two point three million is maybe the best I've ever found. Right. We need to buy some get nip. Hopefully the NPCs, some NPC hopefully will have. I guess I can sell everything I've picked up so far as well. Do these guys ever give you get nip? They used to. I don't know that they do anymore. I hate this bug when it doesn't let you open this thing. Another geodesite. Let's sell some of this stuff. The Alvin pearls. These things. Minus 6.7%. It's quite a big minus. I might save that one. Sell it somewhere else. I wonder if it's worth swapping the treasure. The problem is it'll give me one that's not as good. I think there's a higher odds I'll get a worse one than get a better one. That's everything. Let's see if this guy would give me any get nip. It used to be that you give... I might need to get Gwelek in order to get that. Okay, never mind. Learn a language instead. Right, let's speak to one of these guys. Eggnip? We need three, I think. 
Dagnet. There we go. Three. Anything else? This turns into gold and into glass. Do I need that? I don't think so. Do I want to hand in Gek Relics? Let me just experiment. You used to get like three standing when you handed these in. Let's see if it still does that. Offer Gek Relic. Increase standing. Is it just one? I think they maybe nerfed it into just giving you one. I remember back in the day when I first... Oh, I've already spoken to him. Wait, can I do it again? Yeah, I just repeat it. Yeah, back in the day, I just bought loads of these relics and just sat here handing in again and again until I maxed the standing. Wait, what is this? It's a farmer. <laughs> I forgot about this stuff. You used, to, you used to build these. They don't make you do that anymore, do they? I don't remember what quest gets that started. I never tend to do it. Right, anyway, let's go back to the settlement and claim it. Might as well have a settlement on this planet. Start a planet in this galaxy. I need to find where my marker is. Sky. And that's it, save beacon. There we go. Hey, Adam Mac, how you doing? Welcome to the Brumerai Galaxy. A lush galaxy filled with wonders and diplos like you've never seen before. And we're going to find them. We're going to find them and add them to our discoveries. Take them as pets. That is what we do. Because we're diplo hunters. Now, yes, you may say, why is my diplo count on zero? That would be a legitimate question. It's not going to stay on zero. We'll find some eventually. Wait, this is wrong, isn't it? Because this is near the settlement, but not quite. Where's that settlement gone? God, I can't see it. It's above the cliff. There it is. Right, new settlement on my starter planet in this galaxy. So I guess we do do settlement stuff. What happens when you max these set settlements out? Like, does it really is it useful at all? Invest in settlement. Become overseer of the settlement. I will. Settlement management quest granted. Yes, I can go do whatever this is. Overseer's office. Silica powder. How long do I have to wait? Not very long. I seem to remember the first few things that you have to do don't take very long, and then they will take quite a long time to. Now, can I simply put a teleporter here? Maybe we can quickly teleport back to the other base on the same planet. Or to teleport, that's kind of cool. Wait, can I not build? Do I have to put a base down here as well? It doesn't let me build here. I remember this now. I've got to put a base just on the limits and then build stuff here. Why is that? God, that's so frustrating. I actually don't know. Do I just build it right on the edge? Done. 7%. Let me just finish this. If I wasn't looking for dip players, I'd find them everywhere. <laughs> it's the way, isn't it? You used to have to do that quest to get blueprints from them, but don't have to do it now with the anomaly and purchasing blueprints. Yeah, that's right. I guess that means nobody does that quest anymore, does it? 
is done. What's next? The platings. Right, let's leave that going. Let me go try and put a base down if it will let me. It seems you have to be quite far away to put a base down, and I want to be able to build in the settlement. Ah! God, I was just just fell off. See, isn't this going to be too far away? To build up there. Still in the build limit. Got this. Is there a way to see? How far away? Two hundred. Is it three hundred? You maybe? Freaking attack that creature accidentally by jumping into it. That's the limit. Cannot build with an existing base. That's just weird, isn't it? I can't remember what I need to do. Maybe I just go build something near the settlement now and then it extends it there. I think maybe that's it. Settlement. Whatever, just put that for now. If I build something like just down here, then I hopefully can build something up there. I wonder if we should search for a power node. Let's even get up this cliff. Oh, it's a weird cliff. Oh my goodness, look at this light. My torch keeps flickering. Never ending. There we go. Let me just put another thing down here. Alright, and let's see if we can actually build over here now. What was I going to build? I was going to build a teleporter. Wait, does this automatically teleport? doesn't teleport. Normally I like to have the teleport near the settlement building. What we're building at the moment, isn't it? I guess we could just put one here. Oh god, out of metal plating. Where do we actually want to put it? I put it outside. That building changes though. I don't know what it's going to look like. Put it here. Oh. Now I've not done any of the... Did I install the survey device thing? I think we got rid of it, didn't we? No, I've got it. How do we do this? This one, isn't it? I want power. Oh, look, it's, it's relatively close. I've, oh, but I've not unlocked it yet. I can't build it. Okay, can't do that then. I have to build just normal power for now. Which I don't actually have on me. Do I have stuff on me to do this? Metal plating. Dense carbon we don't have. Let's make some condensed carbon. I've got some here. Shoot. Make some more carbon. And another metal plating. Fortunately, it's night time though, so this isn't going to quite cut it. Connect these all together. Actually, daytime now. Good. Right. Why was I doing this? I was just going to go to my base where we can go swap my. This is my settlement. This is UK Galaxy. This is where my base is. This is settlement. It's annoying to me that we've got this and this. 
Now, what would happen if I go move base module here? That would be useful, wouldn't it? Would it? No, if I want to teleport here, I just teleport to the settlement, I think. Oh, my, my brain is just thinking stuff. Careful building in the settlement boundary as it stops the settlement expanding to the areas claimed as your base. Ooh. I guess I don't mind that. I don't want to go down there. Right, I want to go here. So this is the base that I've built on this planet. Although, I wonder if I should get rid of this base and move it to the settlement. I don't really need two bases on this planet, do I? I guess it doesn't matter too much. What I wanted to come here for was to swap my treasure. Because why not? I think we're going to get a downgrade, but... 1600. It's so rare. I, can I even swap it here? It's a GEC system. I don't think I can. No. Okay, never mind. I'll forget that. Let's see how much it's going to cost to sell it. This is a better price. Right, I'll sell that. Sell the relic as well. Right. What next? So I think next, we've still got to find the cave creature. Oh, I might need to go back to the settlement and do the next part of the quest, actually. Kind of nice to be able to just... What I don't know is which one... Will this put me at the base module or will this put me at the teleporter? Let's have a look. I don't actually know. I hope it puts me in the teleporter. Hmm. And it what? It kind of did, but then it kicked me away. That's a bit weird. I wonder why that was. I wonder if it was the ship. Is this a ship? Is this ship going to block me? No. Okay. The microprocessors. No, can I make those? Microprocessor. My goodness. I'm going to need to make more carbon. Also, it doesn't take very long. I need to wait until it gives me the one that takes like a couple of hours. I need to do everything until that point. Well, might as well mine some more carbon whilst we're waiting. No cave to look at. Not quite as beautiful as my settlement on my other playthrough. That one had a filter on the planet which was very unique. Still a nice looking planet though. I probably shouldn't be mining these trees though. I don't really want to get rid of all the trees, do I? Don't they stay gone? I think they stay gone, don't they? What's this thing doing? Sixty-nine percent. Giggity, giggity. No mind. I'm mining a few more trees then. This is not one of those good carbon planets, so we don't get very much. I probably should have just done a load of mining on that good carbon planet and just put it in storage. Carbon's always very useful. I also think we ended up not building the optical drill because I need a slot here. Anything else I can get rid of is there. And get rid of the combat scope. I do like the combat scope. But I've realised you can't use the combat scope and the stun grenades in a battle. Because they basically, it's either this or it's this. And I think I prefer having the stun grenades just because you get such a good damage bonus. I think really I could get rid of the combat scope. Which is a bit of a shame because I did like it. 
recoil stabilizing weapon scope. It's kind of nice on the bolt caster. I kind of wish it had a separate that you could use it at the same time. I think it's actually worth getting rid of though. It means I could actually install this thing. Solar mirror, quantum computer. I wonder if I can build those. Kind of expensive. I can't build these. No, I, th I think we'll pick those up at a later time. Let me go sort out this quest. Wait, is that finished? Can we go inside? I can't go inside because my ship's in the way. It's kind of funny, isn't it? But have they upgraded these doors? They didn't used to be this modern, did they? I make sure to mine trees away from base just in case they stay gone. Let's have a look. New construction opportunity. Prove a factory module begins construction of production farm. Prove a market. This number's bigger, so you'd think it'd be this one. And it's a 50-50%, so surely this is the best thing. Do that. Anything else? It's the status, which we don't really need to do right now. Where is that thing? It went away. What? Underling somebody in a mood. Can I improve his mood somehow? Hey buddy, I don't speak your language. Sorry. Help. So isn't there supposed to be something? Wait, Scout Gek looking for their carbon nanotubules. Any left? I do. Let's see if I can give some to him. Wait, it's not a door. Satisfied by Overseer's decision. Another guy? Look, this is double floor. This is kind of huge. Where is he? Is that the guy? Did it change? Damn it. I wanted to see if giving him something would help. Never mind. There's my office. Wondering. Isn't there supposed to be something constructing right now that I need to go interact with? Always been like that. The door. Huh? I probably just didn't realise. I mean, to be honest, I'm playing on my new PC, so the graphics are better now, and my gameplay is much better. So maybe I just appreciate these things a bit more. The base. There's the office. There's the construction. I didn't spot it. The need. Do I have it? Magnetized ferrite. Oh my god, don't tell me I don't have magnetized ferrite. Let's see if I've got any on my other ship. I might not do actually. Magnetized ferrite, I do. Right, let's put that on my, my capacity because I should have that on me. There we go. So that now takes an hour and a half. We can leave this thing to do its thing. Wait, a stranger has arrived. Meet the stranger in your office. Okay. We can do that. Uh, I have to do that here. Meet settlement visitor. Okay. Unexpected guest. A visitor underling Gujunurin has begged for a place to stay. They claim to be a highly skilled as an engineer. Is there expecting their host to speak for itself? Hmm. Allow underling to stay as professional engineer plus one to population growth as maintenance. Have underling removed. I uh, will keep him. Highly skilled engineer. Need one of those. I hope he's not a pirate. 
What does that actually do? Uh, professional engineer increases productivity. Increases this. That's a good thing. But we're in lots of debt. Right. So, what left next? I still want to find this cave creature, so I guess let's go back to doing drop pods and looking at caves. If we can find the last cave creature, then we'll be done on this planet. I do like going for drop pods whilst looking for cave creatures. I need to find something to replace that activity once we have all our suit slots. I guess I need to find a... Oh, I've got the wrong ship. My other ship. There. I guess I can just scan for other buildings, but what other buildings do I want to scan for on a re regular basis? It's outposts. Right, got pod two hours away. I look for other buildings along the way. Or do we just go straight there? What is this? Manufacturing facility. Do I want to do that? I feel not. Not at the moment. Wait, I could do. Why not? I've got a good enough weapon now. I might as well. Because at the very least, I could just murder a couple of sentinels and get some upgrades. Right, bolt caster, reload. And I guess we want it on the paralysis mortar, like this. Let me do double damage to them. Well, not damn it, double. We'll do an extra 20% or whatever it is. Where's the door? Unfortunately, we don't get the nice recoil stabilizing zoom for the combat stick. I kind of want to fight them. Using this straight away to stun them kind of works nicely because we get a load of damage on them. My weapon's definitely doing more damage now. I can feel it with the couple of extra upgrades that we got. How am I missing him? Where are you? Can I stun him through this? I can. Ah, that's good to know. Stun him through the shield. I mean, I could just farm this for a long time and get upgrade after upgrade. Oh, what have I hit him? I still feel like there's, there's a lot I can still improve on the weapon as well. I, I don't have good stats moment. Can we get salvage glass? Wait, what are you doing here? It's definitely feeling quite a lot better. Also, I don't know how much uh, what do you call it? Oh, I need to charge my paralysis mortar. This weapon feels overpowered at the moment. I, oh my god, I, I could actually hit him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I 
I'm doing so much damage to this one. Alright, level four. Not that bad. Right, Sentinel Walker. Come on, buddy. Kind of relaxing doing this actually. Where's the actual walk? Are you the walker? Yeah, should probably kill this little one, doesn't he? Summon. This stun lock seems overpowered, I have to say. Right, we still got a proper walker. Where is he? Right. So that walker. Oh, there's this one as well. Let me see if I'm putting on this guy. I can't even see repair bots healing him. How's he staying healed? Why am I not damaging him? I think there's someone else healing him. I'm taking too much damage now. Wait. Can they damage me whilst I'm in here? I don't think so. I don't really want to... I just want to heal. Can I not just shoot from here? I don't get why I'm not killing this guy. Oh, I did. Let me just... Take out this dude. I won't be able to get rid of the sentinels. Well, I actually get a walker brain. We'll be able to build a, com a scanner thing. Complex scanner. Wait, what am I? What have I not destroyed yet? Why am I not damaging this guy? What am I doing wrong? I am doing some damage, but it feels... I don't seem to be doing much damage to him. Am I shooting the wrong part? Oh, it's take this one's taking quite a long time to kill actually. It takes quite a long time to like go through killing all of them. Oh look, we've got a frigate as well. That's kinda cool. There's actually a pirate attacking me as well. Sentinel nest revealed. How do I open this one? How am I supposed to get something from him? 
Fill these barrels. How comes I can't get the reward from this? A bit weird. Oh, this one. Walker brain. Can I shoot these? Getting dizzy. I think I can. Let me go do this thing. It's quite an intense battle. I wonder how many Sowie's glass I actually got from that. Let's learn a new recipe. All of these are done, so we can start doing these ones. Right, I've actually got a sentry pillar now as well. Might as well go to that. I'm just finished collecting all these barrels. Still the pirates. Where's my ship? Oh, all that shooting up in the air made me a bit travel sick. That's a bit funny, isn't it? Tense battles. Right, how close are you? Oh, pirate. Let's just deal with him then. Up. Oh. Never mind. Done. Sentinel pillar. Didn't they already deactivate the sentinels though? A bit strange it deactivates them and then sends you here as well. What happens if I teleport away from this place and then teleport back? Will they all be reactivated again? What is this? Wait, if they're deactivated, ooh, I can get this stuff for free. Isn't that right? And there's a cave here. And I get Three Sowie's glass. Two of them. And we get to take this, I presume. I can go to enrich carbon. Get loads of stuff. Button them. They're kind of cool to farm these things, actually, now that there's no sentinels. Also check out this multi-tool. Maybe we'll get a royal multi-tool. I'd love to get a white and gold one to go with my white and gold colour scheme. That I would actually build up and make a proper weapon. How many savage dice did we get? All this stuff, I should be able to find some of this stuff. You don't get very much, but it's free nanites, so what the hell. I need to get rid of it anyway. It's that, I'll delete it. Wish it was a bit more nanites, I have to say. But. This is when it's annoying and you've got a little trickle left over. Look at that. We got so much stuff now. I'm actually curious how many salvage data we got. Got walker brain. Four here. Why is it saying inventory four? Why is that message still there? That's annoying. We're actually gonna get a bit more now as well. Put a save beacon next to the Sentinel for a future visit to the planet. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I didn't think about that. Good idea. Not the cave creature I'm missing, eh? 
I find it weird that the sentinel, the bigger sentinels give you this, and this feels like it's not as good as the salvage glass. They give you a worse reward than the smaller sentinels. Right, what do you reckon? Are we going to get lucky with a multi-tool? Music's a bit... In time? Right, so put a signal booster down. But no metal platings. God, I need to buy some metal platings. I don't want to keep crafting them. Expensive to craft. I probably want to change the colour of this thing. Go with blue. Also, is this a cave? building over there. We got so much stuff. So many salvage glass. We'll be able to I'm going to open all these soon. So we go boom. And we got a walker brain which I can save to use. Right, let's go get my drop pod. And then I still didn't find the last cave creature. Also what is this? On a lift. Don't really want that. Zoom over to the drop pod, get another suit slot. No lol. What do you mean no lol? Ah, chat delay. I lost the context. Oh god. Pirates. One thing we don't have at the moment is Can I land? Does it ever let me land? I don't think so. Right, never mind. Let's deal with these. How many of them are there? Got the wrong thing on. Actually, damaging me. I need to focus on one of them. There's too many. Oh, there's four of them. That's why. Struggling to get into a good angle. <gasps> I missed with the rockets. How? I've never done that before. That looked like it was point blank. <sighs> I don't have very good weapons yet. I don't have any good good anything. Got a bag up, bag up, and right. You're mine. Quite an intense battle, this one. Missed again, are you kidding? Yeah, hopefully once we get some upgrades, these fights will be a little bit more slick. I mean, it's taking a while. Right, drop pod. Let's go get that. So what was this? Crash ship? Do we search for a crash ship? I think I've got a freighter marked. I mean, I'm going to land anyway because there's a cave. Still looking for a cave creature. Also, back to the NPCs, once you recruit them and shrink them and put them in your desk, which is cute. What? What? What does that mean? How do you shrink NPCs? Right, I want to know, does this give me a crash ship if I've already got a freighter marked? 
God, I'm gonna have to, I can't remember this one. I have to calculate it. What is it then? It's times two minus one, isn't it? Times two. 130, 260, minus two, 268, minus one, 268, no, 258, 257. Hey buddy, we've also got a crash ship and I just want to check this cave quickly. Last cave creature, it would be nice to find it. We've spent quite a bit of time on this planet already now. We've learned quite a lot though. What did the settlement all look cave creatures, but they're all the ones I've already got. Damn it. Have a quick look, never know, we might get lucky. Find another one. The building there. Red dot, there we go. Second crab. Duology complete. Beautiful. My home planet in this galaxy. So this is the first gal zoology in this galaxy. Umarai galaxy. Very good. One, two, three, four other planets. I want to explore all of these. This is my starter system. We should name it. Diplo. Hunter. Drives. Boom. Gotta, how do you spell it? Boom, alright. I don't actually, it might be double R. Oh, that's going to annoy me now. I'll spell it like that. Never. Right. We arrived. Hey, did I just get all my nanites? Did. Still no dip, please. You can glitch, shrink them like you do with other parts. Wait, the NPCs at a settlement you can shrink. What the hell? Let's you shrink them. Wow. Wait, I don't think I know how to glitch shrink. I'm very much a classic player. I don't know much of the fancy mechanics that the builders have worked out. Because I'm not a big builder, really, so just don't spend the time to learn. I wouldn't mind learning something. I mean, I do want to do some builds on this playthrough. They're never going to be quite as impressive as. Right, I think this will be the last drop pod on this planet for now. Suppose I can get those almond pearls. Well, I want to go to the base and offload everything we've collected and go through all this salvage glass and see if we get a nice upgrade. I suppose I take these out of impulse. We're going to go to the shop. This is the one thing that I feel probably almost is never worth picking up. Yet I still do it. Because all of this is just like not worth that much. Right, I'm going to go back to my base and sort out our inventory a little bit. I need to go to the right base. Is there a way I can tell which is which base? I don't actually know. It's slightly annoying having. Oh, and there's a the crash ship as well. Let's go do the crash ship first then. It would be cool if we found a crash ship that was actually a keeper. Mighty gold solar vine crash ship one time. The ones you recruit for your base. Ah. 
You can shrink them, can you? Wow. Kind of interesting. Shrink them and put them on a desk. That is funny. I don't want to do that now. How do you shrink them? Oh, look, that's a big explorer. That'll be worth quite a bit, won't it? That's one of the big size ones. S class, one time. Don't have much room here. E class. 17 million units. I won't get that much. How much do you normally get? Is it like. One third or two thirds? Launch fuel. We'll grab some buried tech whilst we're here. Fix this thing up. I don't know if they've changed it, but since the update, I'm not seeing any NPCs near these crash ships. Every crash ship I've been to has been. I've been able to get. Is that something they've changed again? This will be a nice one to scrap. I've nicely been to this, the... Oh, I don't have dihydrogen jelly. No. I need to get a stack of dihydrogen jellies and keep them on me. I don't even have metal plating. I'm out of resources. I don't think we'll be able to make... Ugh. Let me see if I've got anything on my void ship. I don't think I do. Oh, I've still got this shuttle to scrap as well. Oh no, the golden vector's not charged. No. I actually need to go mine it then. 40. Need a crystal fragment so I can get a lot of this stuff. Is that all I need? Dihydrogen jelly, that'll do. I need to get myself a stack of dihydrogen jellies for this kind of stuff. Eebs has got a video on it, how to do it, which you use to do it for your base. Oh, very cool. I have to try and check it out. Right, let me break this one down. Down to my high capacity. Let me break this one down as well. Right, so this is ready to take back. What was I doing? Was I just going to go home? I think it's this thing. To this. I think sometimes we get an upgrade, but I think I've got most of the upgrades. Maybe I didn't get all the weapon stuff yet, so... Yeah, see? Got that for free. Very good. I want to unpin it. It's telling me to do stuff. Right. I take this straight back to the space station, I guess. And then go to my base from there. I hope the space station is close. I don't think we've been to it yet. I just have to pay off pirates if they attack, because you can't really escape them. Kind of dangerous taking these crash ships back, to be honest. You accidentally don't pay them off in time and they attack you. You've got like no shields, no weapons. Not a very good situation to be in. Deep spits are really easy to follow for them builders like this. Yes, that's true. There's just so many techniques though, so many stuff. I find it difficult to. Oh god, you know what we don't have is a load of space. I'm going to have to go to my base first of all, sort stuff out. 
Actually, we can sell stuff here, can't we? Also, buy another suit slot. Wouldn't it be cool if there's an alien multi-tool in my first system in this galaxy? Oh, God. That would be a dream. One time. Let's not look. Let's not look. There. <laughs> Wish I could see the cabinet without seeing the cabinet. Uh, uh, S-class? A-class? I wonder if I should check out all the multi-tools system. I'm planning to go to every planet anyway. I don't know if this is going to be the one that's native to the space station or from the planet. I've not reloaded, have I? We could teleport back to the planet, reload and then come back here. A-class would be good. Like If there was an alien multi-tool in the system, I'd pick it up. Also, let's go sell some stuff. Sell the Magna Gold. Almond Pearls. Rich Carbon. Odd Servo. Hard Frames. I'll keep the Platinum, I might need it at some point. We've got 11 Salvage Glass, which we're going to unpack in a minute. Bit of these. This. Condensate, Uranium, I'll keep the Walker Brain. What else? I don't want to buy yet, do I? We want to salvage first. The only one you've really used is the resizing one. Yeah. Is it difficult to do? Oh, that's a green. Five million units. It's not too bad, is it? Five million is pretty big. Possibly we'll get some storage augments, which is even bigger. And a few nanites. Might keep the X-Class one. I suppose I should have a quick look to see if there's any upgrades I want. What would I actually buy? I think we still have a bad movement. Shield. Well, we'll take it. Definitely got some bad shields. Just sell this stuff first. One storage augment. I'll take that home and put it in the storage for now until we get a ship that I actually want to improve. Right, that'll do. What else? I need more living pearls for that. Can I start unpacking these things then? Probably. Oh my god, it gave me four effigies. Is any good? It's not massively good. That was a bit disappointing. Five of them and we didn't really get anything. Four weapon shards. Alright. 2% fire rate, 1% damage. I'm sure we've just got 1% damage, so it's better than this one. All upgrade. One percent damage, two percent to reload. Yeah, not as good. That's everything, isn't it? A very tiny upgrade. Isn't it? Brilliant, was it? Sells me this crap as well.
I think that's everything. Right, anything we want to buy whilst we're here? We're actually in a rich system. Ooh, oxygen. Refine that. Metal platings we needed. Let's buy a stack of 20 of those. Alright, dust. I'll put some in my storage if I don't need it here. Salt. I could take some salt for the storage. Maybe just take that home with me. Yeah, that's probably all we want at the moment. Wait, unstable plasmas. We were using those. How many we have? Big stacks. Where did I get this from? Oh, I got this, didn't I? But no room for it. Put some of this in the refiner. Where's my shield upgrades? I've got all, all mess of this one. That's not very good. Let me just see, do I have a spare slot? Still got a spare slot. Okay. Yeah, I've still got another slot as well. Right, very good. I can go on my ship. There's no room on my ship. Of course there's no room on my ship. Right, what next? We're going to maybe check out the multi-tools, won't we? I was going to teleport home and reload and then come back here and see what multi-tool we get. I'm planning to go to every planet on this system, so we might as well check out the multi-tool in the space station. Why not? Where do we want to go? That means I've got too many bases in this system now. Settlement. Not quite time to go back there. Okay, I'll go back here. I need my storage containers. We'll drop off some stuff whilst we're there. Right, so what do we want to leave in the base? I want living pearls because we've got an upgrade to do. There's a walker brain we can leave. I'm going to leave the salt here. I don't think... Wait, when we build the north limb I'll leave the salt. So I'll keep a stack of salt on me. Some here. Store we augment. This will keep everything else. I kind of want all of this, to be honest. Might leave this one, because I'm not going to use this till we get a better ship. That's everything, really. Right, so, I don't think I can teleport back to the space station. I think I have to... We have to reload as well. Let me quickly reload. We'll go see if the multi-tool changes. Where's it actually put my ship? No, underneath the building. Can I even take off? Oh. Oh, was that the exotic? 
a glimmer of a weird looking ship. It is the exotic. Kind of a cool orange one with a big stubby gold nose. Don't really want it though because I'm planning to get solar van ships. What's going on? Oh no, I'm glitched. Ugh, can I land? What is this? Oh, it put me through the building. How do I get rid of that? I have to reload. It's a bit annoying. What am I doing? I want to take my ship off, but it's in block. Oh, let's just summon it here. Wait, there's no way to summon it. Who is there? Is this summoning? This one. Wait, <laughs> it's summoned up there. Annoying. Just that ship was landing, I think. Right. We've reloaded, let's go to the space station. And what's going to be funny is if it ends up being the multi tool that we already saw. I might have already reloaded, I can't remember. But at least we'll know for sure. So this should be this planet's multi tool. I don't have much room. Oh, we didn't get these things. I should probably try and find some of this stuff. Right, multi-tool. And I'll check the other shop as well. We didn't check the other shop. Is that the same one? I can't actually remember, but it looked similar. Anyway, that's that planet's multi tool. We'll check the other planets as well. If that is that planet's, then I didn't see the original one. Wouldn't it be annoying if it was a default alien? Quantum computer. How convenient. And three of those. Your ferrite. Gold. The oxygen still. Reminds me, I should keep refining it. It's charged up as well. Uh, pair this. Need three solar mirrors. I know where this Salem is. It's in my Euclid base. Let me just pop and get that whilst I'm thinking about it. Back to Euclid for a shop. Kind of funny. How you can just teleport between galaxies instantly. It's the same one, was it? Yeah. Actually, when I teleport back there, it might revert to the default one. It'll be interesting. Sail mirror, there we go. Right, that's installed. Oh, the wiring room. Very good. Anything I needed to do here? What about the, the base mission? Is that done yet? Base can be on mine. Is it this base? I don't know. 
archiving process. Oh, what did I get? I missed it. Crap, I was clicking too much. Blueprint for the save point. Interesting. Alright, let's teleport back to that space station and see if the multi tool changes back to whatever the default for the system is. What is it? Wait, this one, isn't it? Diplo Hunter arrives. Reload on the station if you want to check the stations. Ah. Let me just check it first before I reload. Well, I suppose I can just save it first. You know what I hope, really hope is that there's a Diplo in this system. That would be so cool. Right, there's the default one. Interesting colour, actually. Grey colour. Not an alien, but at least I've seen it. Right, time to go to one of the other planets, and there's a couple of moons. What planet do we go to? This is the moon. What moon is it? Guarded moon. Let me just quickly land on it and get it done. And we can check the multi tool out. Chip back on the stream, the start multi tool is the same one. Thank you. I thought it was. We've worked it out now. Wait, I just did damage to something. I just mined something from space. I didn't have any suit slots there. Or oh, ship slots, right. So I'll quickly do the zoology. Do a save and a reload. Do I want these things? The quick zoology. Getting so many nanites now, I'm gonna have to spend them on stuff. Let's just quickly save, reload, and go check out this multi tool. It'd be really cool if we found a proper multi tool in the system. Does anyone know how much more damage an alien multi tool does compared to just a regular rifle when they're both S class? What kind of percentage are we talking about here? I feel it's not that huge, but maybe it is. I find it more, it's the aesthetics. To be honest, probably a royal gold and white multi tool would be the best thing to, for my aesthetic. My character. And the Royal Multi Tools do seem a bit easier to find than regular Multi Tools because you come across these Sentinel structures fairly often. You can even scan for them if you really want to. Not promising, does it? There's no point even looking at it really, because I already know it's an A-class. Right. That's three of the multi-tools found. I could go to the Nexus and check out the Nexus one as well. Which I always forget to do. We need the suit slot as well, so let's quickly do that while something about it. Also, do I have some salvage data to spend? Six. I thought I had more than that. Guess not. All 
Right, we came here to have a quick look at the motor tool, get my suit slot, do a reload and go back to the space station. I don't quite know what this one will be. Will be this be the same as if I was in the space station? So this will be the one that we just saw. Is that how it works? Or does this be a separate one? Is that the one we just saw? It looks... No, it's a C-class. That's something completely different. Let's get this. Anything I can spend these six on? Oh, let's get another storage. I guess I want to spend that one as well. I think... Ooh. And I've got so many nanites now. Let's just finish unlocking everything we haven't unlocked. Then I know everything's done. Wish didn't kick me out. I keep saying that, but it's so annoying. They always seem to be C-class in the anomaly. Oh, I didn't know that. Has anybody decided which weapon they like best now? Now that the ship's weapons have changed? What's your kind of ideal setup with your ship's weapons? Currently, I'm going to try and build out the cyclotron and the rocket. Just because I like using rockets. I don't feel the rockets are the best though, just because they don't one shot the time. But I like it it's like an explosive blast. It's a bit like the Puzzletron, but it's a bit you know, I find it a bit more fun. Right, so all of these are unlocked. I think we already did all the suit ones. No, the weapon ones. Let me just double check. We do all of these? All of these are done. This we could still spend nanites on, but I'll have a look here first. Then everything except for these, I'll tell you what, we're just going to get these done so I know that everything is done. I don't think I'll ever use this stuff. I'm one of these that I don't like to add extra protection like this because I value the space more than the protection because the storms don't do that much damage or at the very least it just means I'm slightly having to use a battery more often. It feels like I'd much rather have the space than have all the tech installed everywhere. I don't know if other people think that way. Right. Done all the starship. We done all of this one. All this is done. So everything is unlocked. Apart from... Wait, did I do all this one? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, all of this is unlocked. The only thing that's not unlocked is all this stuff in here. 10,000 nanites. Do I want to spend nanites? I kind of almost don't want to, because we can do this slowly with manufacturing facilities for free. We'll keep these nanites for upgrades and stuff. I wouldn't mind getting X-Class upgrades. Now that we can buy them, they're much easier to farm. So you'll eventually be able to get way better. Well, not way better, but better than your S-Class modules. Be nice. Right, so we need to save, reload, and check out the multi-tool. Don't really shoot unless shot at. I never upgrade much, but always survive. I like being under the radar. Radar, yeah. I kind of feel like the cloaking device is a godsend for that kind of playstyle. 
you want to escape, you just go invisible. Right, so this is the Nexus multi-tool. Let's have a look. Alien or experimental? I'm going to accept it. I've got a lot of money now. It, like, This is just basically from scanning creatures. That's the bulk of my money. And passively from picking up random bits and bobs. That's actually quite a lot of money. Like, there's, there's not much that you need more than that. Wait, this is the same one. It didn't change. This was the same as the starting system multi-tool. Does it not work on the Nexus? Does that mean the Nexus doesn't have an A-class multi-tool? I don't know what that means. Right. By this planet, what, what's this one? Scalding, activated copper, storm crystals, probably. Let's go do another zoology, see if there's any diplos. Mike Major, what a name. Do we have any mics? I don't think we have any mics in our community here, do we? Any mics? I've always wanted to find a planet called Alex. Or even better, or not better, but Alexicek. That would be very <laughs> funny. I think somebody found me one once. It wasn't quite Alex, Alex. It, it was Alex and then an extra letter or something. Alex with an extra letter. I always, I don't know, get a slight thrill when we find a procedural name that's actually meaningful. Oh look, it's quite a nice planet. What am I actually doing here? Duology and checking multi tool. So, let's we just land here. I like this planet already. So, oh. Mike Major, Diplo Hunter arrives to Broomerai System. First contact. <laughs> Mike Major. Oh, I should have taken a picture of that. That was such a beautiful... Also probably going to get fire here. Ooh. Purple sky. Right, what, what do we know about the creatures then? Ten creatures. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six ground. We flying. Four flying. Six ground and four flying. That's kind of doable. No cave creatures. Yay. Diplos? Could there be a diplo? Oh my goodness. If there's a diplo, one, we have to build a base here. Two, I'm going to get a spontaneous fire and diplo picture somehow. I guess I need to keep getting these buried techs. Got a lot of very tech stuff to unlock. That's something that takes quite a long time actually to unlock all the buried tech. This thing's so far away. This wasn't worth coming all the way over here for this. So this thing. So is that a storm crystal? It is a storm crystal. Kind of a nice planet. Right, creatures. What are we doing? Why are we not looking for creatures? Building over there. A red dot flying in the sky. 
We don't find any really spectacular birds for a while. Oh god. Scan. It's done in another scanner. So here. Ears aren't quite so appealing. Let's head towards this building. Good time actually. Nine o'clock at night. It's gonna be dark for a while. It's kind of nice in the dark. What do you reckon of my gold jetpack lighting? It's kind of good, isn't it? My white and gold setup. My fits. I normally go with the blue jetpack, which would also look good. This gold really. Look, spontaneous fire. Ouch. But oh, thank God I didn't one shot kill myself. I think I've got enough shields now that that's not a thing anymore. you. Ow. Look how good that fire looks. Fire is one of the things that looks really good in this game. Well, I wish somehow I could get my goldness to... If I go right in the fire... Oh, that does look good actually. Look at me, superhero. Diplo Hunter Extraordinaire. Take a picture of that. You're taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, it's because my shields were down. I was going to say, I didn't think I'd take that much damage. Look, there's a little get here. What are you doing here? Dream storm has started. I don't do anything. Keep with thanks. Oh, he recharges my hazard protection. A bit late. Much here, really. Is there? Oh, very tech. Mission accomplished. Met aliens twenty. I suppose I should go get these storm crystals. I do like these fire planets, I have to say, although it's really black and smoky. What's it look like during the day? Hmm. Still be looking for these birds, actually. We've got... Really difficult to see stuff at the moment. We grab these storm crystals. I'm using them for the better warp cells at the moment, which is good. The building. You see, you get quite a super jetpack whilst it's storming like this. Didn't use up some so much resources the milestone five souls roosted galaxy check <laughs> you like farming the damage tech the 30 nanites are a bit of tech off the nest class yeah that's true right I think I should probably go get a suit slot to be honest. Oh, starship fuel. Let me get my starship. And scan for a... Got pod? I need to remember before I leave this planet, we need to reload and... Go get up the multi-tool. It's very smoky on that planet, isn't it? Very smoky. 
And we're under attack. I wonder how long it's going to take me until I just totally just always pay the pirates off because they're annoying me. I don't think we can land, can we? We've got pirates in this storm. We're not going to be able to see them. Still take him out. about that. I had to mute for a second. I'm trying to keep myself alive. These freeing pirates. Come here you. We really need to get a better ship and get some upgrades. I actually don't know how much of a difference it makes though. Because I find that I'm f managing fairly well. I mean, it's a bit slow to take them out but it's not like under much threat. Right, there we go. I mean, we're leveling up standing by keep doing the fights. One thing, I guess. It's still night time. Why is it still night time? I'm actually just going to quickly reload so that when we go to the space station, the multi tool should already be ready for us. Kind of aggressive music for that pirate fight. Aggressive music for a Diplo Hunter. Right, last row. I feel like we've not found that many creatures yet. Four of ten, we haven't found that many creatures yet. Mostly diurnal. South. We are in the south at the moment. Ground. Okay, so hopefully we'll find it here somewhere. I suppose it's always been night time. That's probably why we're not seeing many creatures. Something here. What? I'm scanning a rock. I almost thought that was a dip play. It's a deer. God, that almost gave me a little palpitation. Freaking deer. What are you? The hell? Why is that going so quickly? Some bird. It's so dark on this planet, actually. But damage machinery. Let me go grab that. Where's my... Where's the green tech? Oh, I'm looking the wrong way out. It's this way. There they are. Oh, are you new? You're new. Hmm. Any red dots? What is this? Metal fingers. Uranium or gold. I don't really need it. Hmm. Where do we go? There's a red dot. Go to that. Kind of difficult to work out where the creatures actually are. Another deer. King deer. Rare deer. And so what are we actually missing? 
Rare ground, uncommon flying diurnal. We need the daytime. One o'clock. Let me scan for another drop pod and hopefully it takes us to the light side. Your heart skipped for a second, damn dear. Yeah. You know what I'm not going to be able to do? It's been so long, I won't know how to change the diplo counter. I'll work it out. How far away are you? 10 hours. Right, that should be the other side of the planet. Let's go, hopefully go to the light side and try and find this. Like, wait. Well, that wasn't one. Let's go. So far, I've actually managed to do zoology on every single planet we've landed on. I've not given up on any of them. One of them got me really close to giving up. So far, it's 100% zoology. I wonder how long I'm going to keep that going. And my triple rare cave creature planet happened to be my starter planet here, so managed to complete that even. It didn't turn out to be that difficult, thankfully. Grab a suit slot. So we're on the light side, so let's try and find this diurnal bird. Birds? Anyone? Wrong birds. Where can we go? Oh, there they are. They ain't no bird. The only thing missing now is it a rare, standard rare ground, is it? Rare ground always active. How hard could it possibly be? red dot. you get these buried tech then I guess. Such a smoky planet. Oh, there it is. I'm not playing Hudless, it'd be really difficult. Is that another deer? Oh my god. Multiple deer species. But we got a zoology complete. I'll take it. Those of nanites. All nanites they I know what to do with at the moment. Max our suit slots. I think I'm gonna reward myself and go buy downs of X class modules. Get some cheeky upgrades. Right, we can go check out the multi-tool. What are we doing in the system? One, two, three, complete. Two left. A reasonable planet. I kind of like the ambiance here. Right, let's go see. Is it going to be a multi-tool worth purchasing? It is only an A-class, but I mean an A-class, if it's like a really good one, it's fairly simple to upgrade it to an S-class. It's a bit of nanites for it. I feel I need to do some more Quicksilver missions and get some fireworks now. I've kind of got enough space to start carrying some fireworks. And every time we find... Maybe we can have two sets of fireworks. One where we 
complete zoologies and just do a little celebratory firework display. And then we can maybe have some special fireworks for Diplo finds. I like fireworks. I think they're a cool little addition. Just gonna delete. Load of salvage data's be good. Right, let's see. What is it? And it's no good. Another rifle. Right, anyway, I'm gonna finish up for now. I'm gonna be going out later on, so I want to get a little bit rested before I do that. Had a bit of fun. We'll finish the rest of the system next time we're on. But thanks for chilling. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.